Encanto was great, don't get me wrong, but after leaving the theater and thinking, I felt that something was missing and that something was off. I sat in my room and thought, what could it be? The movie was great, great soundtrack, awesome plot, but I just couldn't help but feel that something was missing. Hmm, what could it be? And it boiled down to these two things for me. Also, spoiler warning for Encanto and every other animated movie I'm going to mention. Number 1. No stakes or consequences. Now let me explain. By stakes, I don't mean that the abuela's life should be at stake or anything. But what I am saying is that most of the modern Disney animated movies don't have any stakes or consequences in them. An animated movie that does this brilliantly is Coco. And the stakes helps build a good climax. We know that Hector needs Miguel to take back the photo and put it in the ofrenda or Hector dies and it becomes a race against time as they try to find Ernesto de la Cruz to get the photo back. Once the stakes are clear and the audience knows what happens if they don't get the photo, the audience stays at the edge of their seat because they know the consequences if they don't get it. And the stake that the audience cares about pushes the story to a great climax. Wreck-It Ralph is another good example of this. The stakes are that Vanellope could die if Ralph doesn't destroy the mint roof or whatever it is and has to face Turbo and the audience knows what the stakes are and we also know what the consequence of failing to do so will be and that makes us sit at the edge of our seats which makes a good climax. Now compare those two great stories with Encanto. When Mirabelle finally stands up to Abuela and confronts her about how she holds everybody to extraordinary standards and how it doesn't feel right, the stakes are that the house will break and they lose their powers. This might be a good stake if it's set up properly and by that I mean to show what will be the consequences if they lose their powers. And that would build stakes for the audience. This is best shown in Luca, Pixar's underrated work. Basically Luca and Alberto are both mermaid-like creatures that can shapeshift into humans and decide to enter the nearest human town. The twist is that after skin touches water, the part that it's exposed to turns to normal bluish mermaid skin. They befriend a girl named Julia and she invites them over for dinner later. When they go over, they see that Julia's father is a fisherman and doesn't have an arm, which instantly tells us the consequences if they get exposed to water. If the dad finds out they're from the sea, in the characters' minds, they think that the dad would kill them because he's a fisherman. Even though later we find out how much of a sweetie the dad is, it's enough to set up stakes till the climax that the audience cares about. Throughout Encanto, you keep Mirabel trying to inform others that the magic is fading and that their house is breaking and it could lead to the family losing their powers. But why should we care? What are the consequences if they lose their powers? The only shred of consequence the audience sees is the short epilogue they gave the abuela and how her husband died during the civil war or whatever. And that is just not enough of a menacing stake to set up tension for the audience. Like cool, your husband was killed by the government 100 years ago, why does it matter? The consequence isn't big enough for the viewer to keep watching because we don't really know what it actually is. The second problem with Encanto is that the conclusion and resolution are very typical and boring and that ties to not having stakes or consequences. Basically, Mirabel blames herself for the Encanto being broken and runs away and Abuela finds her and Abuela reveals some lore with her husband that literally reminded me of that scene in Coco where Hector is singing to baby Coco. I mean, like, they tried so hard to make this, like, as enjoyable as Coco. So anyway, Abuela tries to make the audience relate with her poor choices because, in her eyes, she was being protective. And Bruno also comes back and they, uh, hug it out, I guess. And they all return to the broken Encanto. And upon seeing Bruno, they all hug it out instead of taking the time to question their previous biases that included Bruno ruining their lives and being malicious. They just kind of get over their prejudice against Bruno in a matter of seconds for some reason. And they build back up the home and they get their powers back and happily ever after. There is no resolution. The family gets their powers back, Bruno's back in the family through an unrealistic manner, and Abuela stops being a Karen. I get that this movie is about sticking it up to old people who think their way is the only way and how this movie is mostly for people who relate to dysfunctional families but it's poorly executed because the audience doesn't have a reason to care about the consequence of them losing their powers and it falls short. All in all, Encanto has a lot going for it. It's a very colorful, amazing, and energetic movie with a great soundtrack and great cast. The only area where it falls short are the stakes 
and that in itself ruins the conclusion and the resolution. Like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you like my mediocre content. Take care and later. Bye.